Hello friends, welcome to Efficient Learning World. So in this video, we are going to learn about that uh, about the types of recursion. In the previous video, uh, this is the second video. By the way, this is the second video in our playlist. In the playlist of the recursion concepts and interview questions, because in the so in this recursion playlist, we are going to learn each and everything about recursion like recursion problems and different recursion uh, so interviews questions okay so in the previous video i am uh, i uh, explain you about the recursion what is the recursion function examples of recursion functions and the uses of recursion functions and types of recursion functions and so advantages and disadvantages sorry we dis uh, did it discuss the types of recursion in that video so i am going to explain the types of recursion in this video so if you not have watched the previous video so kindly watch that video so it will be helpful for you to understand this video because these uh, this video is about uh, types of recursion okay so in the previous video i have already explained the disadvantages and advantages and different concepts of about the recursion okay so uh, let me uh, give you a short quick review of the previous video in the previous video we discussed about recursion what is recursion okay or what is recursive function a function that calls itself is called a recursive function then we discuss about the method or strategy in which the base condition is necessary okay because without base condition the program will not stop okay and without base condition the function will call itself again and again okay and we see the difference with us other difference between the simple function and the and the recursive function because in the simple function function calls only one time but in the recursive function function will call itself again and again until the base condition becomes false and we need a base a condition to prevent the infinite recursions and we saw the different examples of uh, recursion programs and we have also made a program to print the hello world three times using a recursive function and we see the uh, we saw the difference between the recursive method and the iterative method and we saw different usage in programming and advantages and disadvantages of recursion in c uh, in the using the recursion and the, this was the outline of that video okay but in that video we miss the types of recursion so i'm going to explain the types of recursion in this video okay so let's start over video so these are there are a lot of uh, types of recursion but basic and important one are these four types okay there are four types of recursions that is uh, direct recursion indirect recursion tail recursion and non tail recursion let's start one by one direct recursion a function is called a direct recursive if it calls the same function again and again until the base condition or a termination condition becomes false okay that is the necessary part in each and every program in this recursion so this is the structure of function that this function is called by itself okay so you can say that a function is called a direct recursive if the it calls the same function again okay so this is called a recur direct recursion okay so the, the concept will be same again I, I, if i give you a short example of c++ language a direct recursion example coding in c++ language so this is a code for direct recursion that in the main function i am calling the i am calling the that function and there will be so there will be necessary some base condition and the in the body of that function i am calling this function again and again until the base condition or a termination condition becomes false so this is the example of direct recursion program in the c++ language and the concept will be same again i am going to discuss this because the in python or different language like c language the code will be a different one okay the concept will be same but the header files will be changed for example in the c language you will write here iostream dot h instead of iostream dot h you will write here stdio dot h and you will eliminate this line okay and the, the syntax and the structure will be different one but the concept will be same so this is the recursion direct recursion example that after that a function is called a direct, direct recursive if it calls the same function again so what is the indirect recursion so let's discuss indirect recursion so indirect recursion occurs when a function is called not by itself but by another function that is called either directly or indirectly for example if function 1 is a function okay so uh, calls function 2 which calls the function 1 then this is the direct recursion of function 1 so for example this is a function okay so this is my function 1 and let's suppose this is my function 2 okay so the, there are two functions here okay so you can see this the function 
वन इज इन द बॉडी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन वन वी आर कॉलिंग द फंक्शन टू एंड वेन एवर दिस स्टेटमेंट विल बी एग्जीक्यूट एंड फंक्शन टू विल बी कोल्ड देन दिस फंक्शन विल बी कोल्ड एंड वेन दिस द बॉडी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन टू विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड देन फंक्शन वन विल अगेन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ओके सो इट मीन्स डेट वन फंक्शन इज कॉलिंग एन अदर फंक्शन एंड डेट फंक्शन इज कॉलिंग द फर्स्ट वन फंक्शन वज कॉल्ड बाई डेट फंक्शन ओके सो एंड एंड दिस फंक्शन विल बी कंटिन्यूसली कॉलिंग एन अदर प्रोग्राम एन अदर फंक्शन अंटिल द बेस कंडीशन बिकॉन्स फॉल्स ओके सो वट इट मीन्स डेट a function there is a function and in the body of that function we are calling the another function not by itself in the but is meant by itself you see in the direct recursion in the direct recursion it is calling by itself that function is a uh, calling itself but in the direct indirect recursion we are calling a function not by itself but by another function okay so function 2 is calling function 1 and function 1 is calling function 2 this is what means not by itself but by another but in the tail uh, but in the direct recursion we are calling the uh, function by itself see this is the difference between direct recursion and indirect recursion okay so let's discuss the tail recursive that is the third type of recursion a function is tail recursive if it calls itself recursively but does not perform any computation after recursive call returns and immediately returns to its caller the value of its recursive call so let's divide this uh, definition into two parts okay so first part is does not perform any computation after recursive call returns for example uh, uh, let me clarify a uh, easy one definition is a fun recursive function is said to be tail recursive if the recursive call is the last thing done by the function there is no need to keep the record of previous state but is meant by not to keep to uh, not need to keep the record of previous state for example this is a function we have uh, made this function in the previous video in which we uh, see that the uh, to print the hello world uh, three times okay so this is a function okay and i am calling this function by in the main function and this function is calling again and again until the base condition becomes false okay so you can see this after calling this function there is no another statement needed to be executed means no need to keep the record of the previous state so there are there is no statement below this call last call okay so this is the last call by the function and there is no need to keep the record of the previous statement or you can say that uh, does not perform any computation after the recursive call returns okay so this is something of that recursive calls return okay so after this statement when this function will be again called there is no need to uh, write another statement there is no uh, another uh, statements or instructions okay so if there are no statements or instructions after the last call then this function will be called a uh, tail recursive function okay so nothing to evaluate execute after this statement you can see that the function first of all in the main function this function will be called and this function will be called okay and if the condition uh, is this true then this function will be again called okay and if the let's suppose in the second execution the condition becomes false and this function will be returned okay so the when this function will be returned there is nothing to evaluate or execute after this statement then there, there this is something called tail recursive function so uh, the, let's discuss non tail recursive a function is said to be non tail recursive if the recursive call is not the last thing done by the function okay so after returning back there will be something left to evaluate some sort of statements like printing stems message for example this is the same dat function but you can see that recursive call is not the last thing done by the function as some instruction statements still need to be executed after the recursion call this is the last function i have called okay in the function body and there are some sort of statements like that statements can be anything like printing some message on console or declaring or, or initializing some variable or returning some value but you can see that there is nothing to evaluate okay this is the last thing done by the function or if it is this is not the last thing done by the function then this is called non tail recursive function so this is the difference between the tail recursive and non tail recursive okay so in this video we see that the example the types of recursion the tail recursive function and the non tail recursive functions and the direct and indirect recursion okay so this is for now and in the upcoming videos we are going to start over complete playlist about the programs 
functions in the recursion like finding the power of number using recursion and finding the uh, uh, finding uh, reversing the string using the recursion tower of Hanoi and different pro sorts of problems we can we will solve each and every problem using the recursion and I will also upload the pseudo codes and also as well uh, the source codes in the description you can also download the uh, link of those program using the link provided in the description so thanks for we uh, so thanks for watching this video